Hello Virgo, this is a general reading and although when I prepare and pray, I do ask that all of you receive at least one message. It is for a general audience. So let's go ahead and get started. I have prayed and shuffled over the cards. Okay, so I think you guys can see all of those. Outstanding. So the first card we have here is 30. And if you can see that, it's the garden and the gate. And, and you know, this is talking about financial abundance, um, also talking about, you know, safety. Because when you look at the card, it, there's a key that the young girl's wearing around her neck. And you notice know, she, she has herself trapped inside of a garden. So at any point, she can take that key and put it in the gate, unlock, and allow herself the freedom that she desires. Um, so I'm getting, for a lot of you, you are keeping yourselves trapped in a career that you're unhappy with, a, a, a job, a company that you're unhappy with. For some of you, I get that you're keeping yourself in, in a relationship that doesn't serve you or make you happy um, because it's safe and it's secure. For some of you, I get you that you're keeping yourselves trapped in loneliness because you've been hurt in the past and, and so that's, again, safe and secure. So I'm getting for all of you, you're keeping yourself in a place of unhappiness when so much more is awaiting you on the other side, but you're keeping yourself trapped. All you need to do is unlock it, pull out the key, unlock the door, and let yourself out, and you will find all the things that you desire, but because of fear, so for those of you in the job situation, it, it, it's fear that your financial needs won't be met and taken care of. Fear that you won't succeed in a new venture. Fear that you won't succeed in a new job. For those of you that are stuck in a miserable relationship or, or you're keeping yourself stuck in a place of you know, unhappy singleness for fear of getting burnt again, um, fear of the unknown, am I gonna spend the rest of my life alone, fear of being hurt again. Again, it's, it's all coming from a place of fear Fear of the unknown, fear of not having your financial needs met, fear of being hurt again. And, and with the words you need to know, take it away from your worries, take it away from your concerns. Know that you hold the key and, and shift your focus, completely change your perspective so, so that you can gain everything that you desire. If you look close, there's these little butterflies flying on the other side so that you can emerge like the butterfly after um, being stuck in the cocoon. It's time for you to fly and and they're encouraging you to step outside of that gate and fly toward the things that you desire because it really is, I'm getting for all of you in this situation, it's really just you holding yourself back and, and everything that you desire, they have been working on getting that all lined up for you on the other side. You just need to trust and have faith and unleash yourself. Next card we have is 45, a man holding a heart. Now this is, I'm getting for a number of you that it, this is regarding a man. So for those of you that are men, <laughs> this is, uh, it's a message about how, um, um, or, well, I get that you have been going through quite a bit of emotional turmoil for a number of months. Um, I get a number of you have been like analyzing past hurts, um, I get a number of you have been analyzing what it what it is that you truly want in life. You know, it, you've been. Um, I get a number of you have been doing a lot of internal contemplation on what it is you desire, what you would like your future to hold, what would really truly make you happy. You know, what is the purpose of your life, and really just been it really really contemplating, thinking hard about the things that you truly deeply desire and want. And I get that it's been a very emotional time of contemplation and also growth. I get a number of you, it's, it's been a very emotional, hard time to really face, face your fears, to be able to heal yourself, to get those things you desire. Because you know how they were saying it, it's fear that's keeping a number of you trapped in unhappy relationships and then fear also keeping a number of you stuck in a place of being single. And for both sides of the house of those of you that that is a message for, you're not happy. So you've been doing a lot of contemplation and thinking about what it is you truly want and truly desire. And I get for a number of you, you've also you know come to the realization that you need 
a more balanced approach to get those things that you desire. Because I'm getting for a number of you, it's a very, it's, it's tied to a lot of emotions. All the, the clarity of the things that you've been thinking about are tied to emotions. But I get for a number of you, it, it's romantically tied. It's tied to love. It's, it's tied to family. And, and I get that you, you've had a lot of confusion in the past, a lot of confusing things, um, deception, uncertainty, lack of clarity. And so, so what they're, what they're wanting you to know is that you're now getting the clarity that you need. They've been giving you a lot of intuitive signs, um, trying to give you those nudges, those signs to let you know that it's safe for you to move forward. And they're wanting you to know that, that, because I get it's been a very just turbulent emotional time, that that's, that's coming to an end now. And, and that's because this next card we have is 53, the Magician. And this again ties back to you have the power. Because the Magician is all, it's completely talking about knowing your own power, knowing that you can determine your destination, that you can move yourself forward. Um, it's talking about like a culmination, like getting through painful times, getting through insecurities and, and being stuck, working through that, healing yourself, preparing yourself so that you can move forward because, because you are the magician. I mean, it, they're saying that you, you now have the clarity and you now, they're, they're trying to get that get again that balance get that balance so th they're saying that you have the clarity you've been able to work successfully through a lot of it but the thing that you're going to have to do to get yourself out of that gate is the action now um, because you know balancing the, the yin and the yang once you have the clarity it's the next step is is that direction that action that movement that putting that key in that fence so that you can get yourself out no longer have yourself locked in unhappiness because when you because a lot of you like they've been saying you've been getting a lot of the intuitive information contemplating on what it is that you desire you are now you are the magician and you need to know that and trust that because the confusion's been lifted the clarity has been given to you now the clouds the clouds have been cleared it's now time for you to take the action necessary to um create that magical transformation and really, and really step forward because um, they're saying that you really are able to to transform all those difficulties that you've been having into true blessings and, and really bring all that you desire into fruition. It's time to step away from the safe and step into your destiny, that happiness, all those things you've been thinking about, contemplating that you desire. And they're really encouraging you to do that. And they're there to help you. They said ask for their help um, because again, they are always, you know, we've all got angels that are around us all the time ready to help us. Well, we have to ask for their help. Otherwise, they can't step in to help us. And the other thing that they're saying about that card too is, so, you know, all different card decks come with different numbers of cards. The Energy Oracle deck by Sandra Ann Taylor, it has 53 cards. The Magician is the last card of the deck. And for you, that is signifying that you are done. This is the completion of that difficult situation you've been going through. And I get for some of you, it's even related to a job. You've been really unhappy in your job. And they're wanting you to know that you're at the end of those difficulties. For those of you stuck in the unhappy relationship, for those of you that stuck um, in, in a place of fear and lack of movement, um, in a place of being single and unhappy and desiring love. Next card we have is debt paid off. And if you can read the bottom of it, it says the old weight and habit of debt is lifted from you in your life. So I'm getting for some of you, this is just straightforward what it is that, you know, there's going to be a shift in your financial situation and, and that this is a time for you to know that you do deserve to be debt free and you can be debt free. Um, because I do get for some of you, you're, you're just feeling overwhelmed financially. And that's for some of you, what's kept you stuck in that safe, unhappy work environment because you know you need to take care of any of your financial obligations but they want you to not worry and don't let that hold you back from all that you desire now for some of you what I'm getting is this is deeper um, it's more of a letting you know that you've you've paid off your debt karmically so for some of you that 
are keeping yourself stuck in a miserable relationship um, or you keep going back to a miserable relationship um, because you feel that you owe this person because again for some of you, you for some reason you feel that you owe this person maybe not financially maybe you feel you owe them because you know you feel in your eyes that you did something wrong or you didn't do enough in the relationship um, but what they want you to know is that you did the best you could in your situation at that time and to stop beating yourself up and to know that you don't owe this person anything you are you truly are done it's time to unlock yourself release yourself from those chains and end this situation so that you can move forward into your happiness you you, know, you owe nothing and they're wanting you to know that to know that trust that and move forward toward your happiness next card we get no wonder they're talking about career so much i get here you go if you can read the bottom of it it's going to focus your work focus is shifting in a positive new and successful direction so i get for some of you you've been in a unhappy challenging situation at work conflict with co-workers deceit going on um just completely unhappy for some of you i do get that there is going to be some intervention some surprise that's going to come about and, and change and improve things for you at work and, and get you back into a positive direction in your current workplace and current position um but for others of you I, I get you truly are going to move forward for a new career because what they're wanting you to know is that they are responding to your prayers your, your desires to have a fulfilling meaningful profession um, to be satisfied in your career satisfied and with the company that you're with so what they want you to know that stay positive have faith and and take those action steps that they're giving you because I get a, a number of you are you know you're in, you're getting intuitive nudges like maybe you've noticed some things about taking some courses or moving toward a new degree or going to a networking event and for some of you it's just you keep hearing about job opportunities that are the job opportunities that you've really always wanted you just out of fear and worry didn't think you would be successful at them send your resume they're saying get your resume out there send your resume take that action that action that's needed and have faith and be optimistic in knowing that you will get out of this situation and you will get a, a, a new position where you'll actually be happy and fulfilled um, and feel like you're contributing and for some of you you'll have balance again because I get a lot of you don't have balance um, and you'll get back to a place of balance and joy the last card we have is divine intervention and there is a prayer at the bottom of it, it says dear Archangel Raphael thank you for being with and for helping me with I have faith in divine intervention and I fully accept your guidance now so obviously the card depicts someone you know in a in a medical situation a very dire medical situation they're hooked up to all different types of things as you can see there if it'll focus get rid of some glare um, but they're not talking about medical what they're wanting, wanting you to know you see you got the little angel floating above is is that they've heard your prayers because, because I get so many of you have been stuck in this place of misery and unhappiness for so long that you've just been praying and you've also been silently calling out for help to fix it. To get out of that company that just makes you miserable. To get out of that relationship that just tears you down. Um, to get stuck out of that a lonely place of misery of, of fear of moving forward and getting hurt again I get that they've heard your prayers they've heard you they've been working behind the scenes to to bring forth the miracles and the, and the blessings and the things that you've been desiring and asking for and they're wanting you to have trust and faith and, and know that they they are bringing those things to you and I get that it's going to surprise you and the ways that they bring it to you are going to be be a surprise because with divine intervention you know when God and the angels step in we may have envisioned things happening one way but what typically happens is we will be caught completely off guard and they will answer our prayers in ways that we never 
could have imagined. And then when they answer them, the blessings that they deliver for us are 10 times better than things that we could have been, could have imagined and were praying for. So notice the signs around you. Because I get a lot of you, you're getting signs to apply for jobs. You're getting signs that it's safe for you to love and move forward. That, it, that it's time to forgive yourself, forgive that person, move forward. That this is the end of that chapter. It is time to close the book and move forward. So what they're saying is, and then for, you know, your debt's gone. It's time to cop, stop keeping yourself trapped. I get that you're getting a, a lot of signs. And I get that a lot of you have had like a number of intuitive nudges, a lot of intuitive thoughts that have come up, but you've not taken the action on them. So what they want you to do is, is take the action on those things that they're intuitively giving you. They are giving you those for a reason. So, so if you've had the same sign pop up three plus times, that's your angels talking to you. And letting you know, yes, this is the next step for you to bring those blessings in. So take those steps. And for some of you that aren't getting the signs and in, in the intuitive information yet, just know that it's simply a matter of divine timing. Other pieces of the puzzle are just having to fall into place first for your blessings to be ushered in. So just trust, have faith, stay positive, and know that they are bringing those things to you. Change your mindset and, and trust and know that it is going to happen because you are at the end of that chapter. You are ready for love. You're ready to enjoy life. You are ready for a new career. You are done with that past. Your debt's paid and you are about to free yourself from the, the, the chains and, and the gate that you have kept yourself locked in. They told me to pick up the Archangel Raphael deck and grab the card on the bottom of the deck. So I guess you guys get another card. Okay, forgiveness heals. Dear God and Archangel Raphael, I am willing to forgive myself and others in exchange for what I really want. Peace and health and happiness, they just said. <laughs> so what I'm getting for some of you is what, what's holding you back is, is forgiveness. Forgiveness of yourself, forgiveness of others. Um, because I get a number of you that is tied to the emotions that there's a lot of anger that you have stored inside of you. Um, anger toward yourself, anger toward your partner, anger, anger toward your ex, anger toward a past lover who hurt you, deceived you, did you wrong. But I get that there's a lot of anger that you have stored. And, and when we store anger, it, it does nothing but hurt us. Um, you know, it's harmful to our health, our mind, our body. I mean, it can even be, you know, fatal because, you know, emotions, I do energy work, energy medicine healing. And it's amazing how many diseases actually stem from trapped emotions and how many health physical problems actually stem from trapped emotions. A lot of people who even have things like irritable bowel syndrome, it's actually because they have stored anger. And when we have anger, and fear that actually gets stored in our stomach. So, so you'll have a lot of health issues regarding your stomach. Um, and with anger, it can lead to high blood pressure and all different types of things. So it's very toxic. And, and again, a num number of you have these toxic emotions trapped because you're, you're not able to forgive something from your past or someone from your past. I get that um, for some of you that someone from your past or something from your past that occurred that you know you think is unforgivable so you've got these toxic emotions trapped and you need to heal and release that um, and forgiveness doesn't necessarily mean that you're saying that you're okay with what that person did to you or how that person treated you rather it's just you're saying I'm no longer willing to suffer and jeopardize my health with any angry thoughts feelings or fear because I'm letting that go um, and Archangel Raphael he, he is the the angel who can help you heal that um, and he's and he's ready to heal you all you need to do is is ask for his assistance to help you release those emotions 
forgive that person, forgive yourself in order to get back to a, a peaceful, calm state so that you can be able to move forward because it's, it's blocking you. Um, for those of you that need to forgive, that's why you're afraid and that's why you're keeping yourself fenced and trapped in a cage. They just said a cage, like a trapped cage animal. But you can release yourself at any moment, but it hinges on you forgiving. Um, in Archangel Roth, I said it, it is time for you to forgive, time for you to release, time for you to move forward. And for some of you, it's not just forgiving someone else. I get for some of you, it's forgiving yourself for for the things you did or the things you think you didn't do. Um, for some of you, it's forgiving someone else for the things that they did or did not do. And for those of you that's with someone else, part of that forgiveness that you can do, you can kind of do like a, a little a little ceremony that will actually make you feel a little better. Um, get out a piece of paper and, and write a letter to that person that you've been angry with, that person that hurt you, lied to you, deceived you, cheated to you, did you wrong in some fashion, write them a letter. Put your feelings down and, and then burn that letter in, in, as a you know symbol of completely releasing the negative emotions, the anger, the frustration, all those things, all those emotions that you had and toward that person, burn it. And ask that Archangel Raphael and, the God, and that God help you just completely release that, forgiving them, forgiving yourself, which ultimately frees them to move forward and frees you to move forward to your happiness. And that's essential. So that's what they're encouraging you to do. Forgive. So you can move forward. You can end this chapter and step into your happiness. Because they've got it all lined up. They've got you a new job lined up. They've got you... The love of a lifetime. Your, your destiny awaits. You just need to do some forgiveness. Some of you need to unleash yourself from the cage in that chapter. Um, and for some of you, you need to let that worry go. And then you can step in to all the blessings that are coming your way. So, filled with a lot of love, joy, and blessings.